This demonstration will illustrate how water will erode away the banks of a river and a stream will form over time. There are some key features to a stream that are important to know when analyzing streams and how they develop. The first thing is where water begins. That's called the The curves in the river are known as meanders. The house, located on the flat part of the shore, right next to the water, is subject to flooding and therefore is called the floodplain. As you move towards the bottom, you come to the river's mouth, which will also form a delta as sediments carry down, and as the water slows down, it will deposit these sediments in a fan-like fashion. So as we'll take a look today, as water enters into the stream, the meanders will change their shape, and that is all due to the erosional process. So as we start the water at the river source, you'll see that at first, the water descends and lines through the river and goes out towards the bottom. But as the river speed increases, erosion will take place on the outside curve due to the faster water speed and will deposit on the inside curve, which is the slower water speed. The meanders become wider and wider over time, and eventually, an oxbow might form. If sediment is deposited at the mouth of this oxbow, an oxbow lake may form. You'll see that the sediment gets washed down to the bottom of the stream and causes a delta to form at the bottom.